This video introduces the key content and functions in Visible Body's Muscles Premium 3. This application includes 3D models of over 600 muscles and 200 bones. Pins on muscles and paint on bones offer a rich understanding of muscle origins and insertions. Ligaments and nerves provide information about joint function and muscle innervation. 3D animations showcase muscle actions. On the home page, the first three buttons provide access to hundreds of detailed muscle views and animated muscle actions. Access content by muscle, by actions, or by both. Let's start with the muscle action section. This section showcases hundreds of moving muscles. I choose a body region, then an action. I've chosen lateral flexion. Tapping the buttons on screen shows a series of views for lateral flexion of the neck. I can select an anterior or posterior view. I can select to focus on the movement of the superficial muscles or of the deep muscles. I can zoom, pan, rotate, or tilt to adjust any of these views. If I tap on the info button, I get information about this action. If I select pause, I can then use a scrubber to study the action in slow motion. To see actions in other body regions, I tap on the menu and select another body region. I'm selecting the shoulder region and the action shoulder adduction. Again, I can view this action from a series of preset perspectives, or rotate, pan, and zoom to create my own. Let's go back out to the main page and select the muscle attachment section. This section includes hundreds of views with comprehensive information about each muscle. Choose a body region and a group. That brings up a list of the muscles. Selecting an option, like iliacus, launches a preset view of that muscle with its bony attachments. If I want more information, I select the muscle. Along the top of the screen appears a breadcrumb trail with the muscle's name and information about its location. Next to the name is a small audio icon. If I tap on it, I hear the muscle name pronounced. Iliacus. Selecting the definition icon in the menu bar gives me detailed information about the muscle's attachments, innervation, and a link to its actions. Pins mark the location of a muscle's attachments. Tapping on the head of a pin labels the muscle attachment, in this case, the origin of iliacus. Tapping on the blue pin icon next to the label reorients the model so I can see the blue pin indicating the muscle's insertion. If I want to view the surface area for this origin, I can turn bone landmarks on and fade the muscle. Painted red on the ilium is the large surface area where the iliacus originates. Painted blue on the femur is the smaller surface where the iliacus inserts. If I want to see other muscles in this region, I can use the breadcrumb trail to add them. I select the iliacus, then tap on the term lower limb to get the muscles in the lower extremity. I can use the hide and fade buttons to get a better understanding of all muscles in this region. I can search by name and add single muscles or groups. I can also add ligaments and nerves. To return to my original view, I tap on its name in the top left and the view is refreshed. The home page has options for viewing muscles in larger regional groups with ligaments and nerves, studying muscles by viewing the skeletal attachments, and a quiz section. If I select the region views, I get a menu organized by regions and a series of views with multiple muscles. Show, fade, or hide work the same in these views. I can add pins or paint if I want more details. The skeleton section gives me the option of studying bone regions and the muscles that attach. Here I've selected the knee joint. Tapping on pins reveals the muscles that attach to the distal end of the femur and the proximal section of the tibia. The quiz option on the home screen contains over 50 quizzes. I'm asked to identify specific muscles in the interactive 3D model. If I get a wrong answer, I can try again or highlight the answer. When in the quiz mode, I can rotate the model and hide or fade structures. Thank you for watching this quick start tutorial. For more details, visit the Apps Help section or visit us online.